Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch and a happy Lunar New Year. Roughly two billion people or a quarter of the world's population celebrates New Year, not on the 1st of January, but on whatever day it falls on each year. And this year it's today, the 10th of February. Though I suspect most of them will probably celebrate twice. And each year ushers in a new zodiac animal. 2024 is, of course, the year of the dragon. Now, one watch company celebrating Lunar New Year is San Martin. They have made a limited run of 300 Year of the Dragon watches, 220 of which have sold already. It's based on, frankly, their best original design, their GMT, the 0116 model. Now, clearly that watch has resonated with the market because they've been working that design pretty hard, as you can see here. Loads and loads of different color versions, but none of them look quite like this one. Now, you saw the pop-up. This video is sponsored by San Martin. They sent me the watch for free. I do not have to send it back. I will, of course, therefore leave a link to the listing in the store on AliExpress in the description of the video. Let's flip the camera and have a look at it. Not gonna be here forever today because I have essentially looked at this watch before, but in a slightly different form. I said in the intro that this was a rework of their 0116 GMT. That model debuted in the middle of last year and I reviewed it in June of 2023. And at the time I proclaimed it to be the best San Martin so far anyway, and said that the big brands had better start looking over their shoulders if a copycat brand, a brand known for making homages, was now producing original models. I also suspected that they would start playing around with color even more, and you know what? They did. I then featured this avocado lime? Not quite sure how you would describe the color scheme of this one in a top 10 roundup in time for the 1111 sale last year. Now this was a limited edition, they were only made 100 of these. Some might say that was a good thing. But you know what? I liked it, so I kept it. There you go. And perhaps its place in my collection is under threat today. Perhaps I will end up keeping the Year of the Dragon instead. Usual San Martin paraphernalia, two year warranty, though I admit it's not as easy sending a watch back to China as it is taking one back to your local shopping mall. Screwdrivers, hang tag, little bits and pieces, and of course, one of the little green pouches containing the watch. And they have gone all in for Lunar New Year. They've gone all in with Chinese color scheme, very traditional red and gold. They've gone all in with Chinese symbolism, Chinese characters, etc. Now, I appreciate that is not gonna suit everyone. It's not gonna be to everyone's taste, but clearly it suits 220 people so far, and I have no doubt that the other 80 will find suitable homes before too long. So. What do we have here? What is all of this? Well, as I said, red and gold, very traditional Chinese. Those patterns on the dial, cloud patterns, they are auspicious, as is that red color. Dragon, the year of the dragon, that's the word dragon printed in gold, just above the color match date wheel at six. And those are the 12 heavenly branches printed on the dial. Now, I know all of this, not because I speak Chinese, but because San Martin print all of that information on their listing. One of them is differently colored. That is the one at the 12 o'clock there. That also apparently means dragon, so it's kind of double dragon branded, if you pardon the pun. On the case back, it features another dragon, lots more cloud symbols, and one would assume, therefore, more auspiciousness. And after dark, it looks fantastic. X1 grade BGW9 on the hands the dial markers and the bezel insert. Apart from that second dragon symbol, the chi symbol up there at the 12 o'clock, that one is in C3 Superluminova, and if I turn the speed up, that one is the first to fade. The rest of the bezel symbols fade next. The dial and hands kind of hang on in there. I said before when I reviewed this one that the Loom was okay, but it wasn't gonna win any editions of Loom Wars. Same applies with this one. In terms of dimensions and specifications, there they are for you. The same as the other 116 models, regardless of color. Nothing there that's gonna jump out at you, nothing there that is scary. The dimensions are all nicely in proportion. Nice taper on the bracelet, by the way. Beads of rice from 20 to 16, back up to 18 at the clasp. And a thickness of 12.3 is not bad considering the movement choice, that movement being an NH34 forehand GMT auto, of course. Case finish is outstanding for the money they're charging. San Martin make the best finish watches under $300. Without a doubt, I haven't seen anything come close to this. Drilled lugs for an added bonus. You got a coin edge bezel there. Bezel action is also really nice. 24 click bi-directional. It's quite light, but it is quite positive at the same time. 
six mil unguarded crown screw down obviously. Now they resisted, rather disappointingly, they resisted from sticking another dragon symbol on there. Perhaps that would have sealed the deal. Perhaps that might have been a little bit too much, though perhaps that might be a little bit too much for some people as it is. Bracelet is there seven link beads of rice, five high polished center links, two satin brushed outer links, female end links as well. No quick release end links though, but you do have drilled lugs, so it's not too bad I suppose. And we've seen this San Martin class before. It's long, but it's not ridiculously long. It has those two not all that attractive screws on the side. Double trigger, hexagon logo embedded in there, milled upper, milled lower. Very nice, very solid feeling considering the overall price of the watch. That's it on wrist. I have got a seven inch wrist for your reference now. This clasp does come with around one centimeter of on-the-fly adjustment, so you can choose to wear it tight, you can choose to wear it loose, you can choose to wear it exactly how you want to. Great size, great proportions. You saw the dimensions earlier on. No surprises as discussed. It fits me and my average size wrist nicely. So if you have an average size wrist, it'll probably fit it nicely as well. All right, why don't I give you my moans and niggles followed by my concluding thoughts and why don't I do it over the top of some beautiful imagery of the watch on wrist in front of some flowers. Surely that's auspicious. In terms of complaints, materially, I don't have too many. It's a beautifully well-made, beautifully well-machined watch. If you're all right with it, stylistically, that is. Haven't overpriced it either. 280 is the same price as the regular 0116 models. They could easily have added 20 or $30 onto this one because it's a limited edition. I don't think anyone would have batted an eyelid. Couple of complaints though, one carryover complaint. I'm not convinced by the proportions of the handset, the hour hand and minute hand both could take a little bit more meat and I wish they would take a bit of meat off the second hand. It's just too big, particularly in terms of that counterbalance. And with the switch to those Chinese characters on the bezel, that means the GMT numerals are tiny. They're kind of shoved on the edges of the dial as a bit of an afterthought. If you need to use the GMT complication, perhaps pick one of their other 116 references. And does a Year of the Dragon watch have a shelf life? What happens to this one in 2025, the Year of the Snake? Does it become unlucky somehow? Or dare I say it, inauspicious? Well, that's a conundrum that clearly hasn't bothered the 220 people who've bought one already. I'm sure the last 80 will sell out, and I'm sure San Martin will be doing a year of the dot 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 special edition every year from now on as well. So there you have it. If you celebrate Lunar New Year, or you just like the design, it's a really nice piece to have in your collection. They're only making 300. I think it will become an annual event if they sell out, and I think it will sell out. It's a great watch, and it is also fairly priced for a spectacular looking limited edition. Well done for making it all the way to the end. Why not check out two of San Martin's other best watches, either here or here. Thanks for watching. I will see you again in the next one.